I love working in the space industry, not only because of obviously the space projects and the interesting field of work, but also because you don't really know what kind of people you meet and the stories they have. You would assume that because they are scientists, uh, PhDs in the field of, the, of space, they don't believe in God or they don't believe in miracles. But if you have this assumption, you'd be, you'd be very wrong because history has shown that the smarter people are, Isaac Newton and many alike, they believed in God. They had a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And in this video, I want to share with you the story of a miracle and how God answered a prayer of one of my colleagues working for the German Space Agency. Now, this woman, she's a very sweet, gentle woman from South America, from Colombia. And some years ago, she traveled to Munich in Germany to begin her new job at the space agency. And she came by herself in this new place. It's, it's a very remote area in Germany. And she came in the middle of winter. It was minus 19 degrees. Snow covered the place and she came at nighttime. Back in those days, she didn't have a GPS or a mobile phone or a smartphone to, to be able to find the address. And she was carrying behind her this big bulky suitcase, 25 kilos or more, on the deserted streets of this small village. Now, in Germany, in small villages, there's no people in the streets. Rarely, if you find people uh, in the streets, but in that night, in minus 19 degrees, as darkness came upon upon the, the village, there was nobody in the streets. And being from South America, from Colombia, she was, she was beginning to be frightened because she was looking for an address and uh, she didn't speak the language. It was dark, no soul in the streets, and she was beginning to be frightened and carrying this big bag behind her. And she started to pray. She's, and her prayer was, Lord, please send me an angel. Lord, please send me an angel. Lord, please send me an angel. As she was struggling through the snow at night with no human being in sight for 30 minutes or so, 15 to 30 minutes, she, does, uh, she says she was praying over and over the same, the same prayer. Lord, please send me an angel. Lord, please send me an angel. Lord, please send me an angel. And um, at one moment, she sees a man coming out of his car. And uh, the man comes to her. And again, because she's from South America, she doesn't talk to strangers in the street at night. In the, uh, she, she's very well aware of the dangers that could happen to her as a, a lonely woman going in the streets at night. And this man comes to her and she says, may I help you? And she, she says, yeah, okay. Eventually after <clears throat> not knowing what to do, she says, okay. And she puts the, the luggage in, in his car and off they go to, to the address that uh, she gave her. And as the man drove off, she was a bit frightened, not knowing what was going to happen. And uh, the man turns to her and she says, um, where do you come from? And she says, I'm from Colombia. And then he starts speaking in Spanish and he says, hey, my name is Angel and I'm very happy to help you. My name is Angel in, uh, in Spanish. So they started speaking in Spanish and I will take you to your destination and help you. And she could not believe what she was hearing because the chances to meet a man by the name of Angel speaking Spanish in a small village in Germany are close to zero. But you see, God, sometimes God has a sense of humor because she was praying, praying, God send me an angel, God send me an angel, God send me an angel. And God answered her prayer in the most amazing way. The mystery was still there. Is this truly an angel or is this just God having a bit of humor, but nonetheless, the man took her to destination. Her prayer had been answered in a most amazing way. And, uh, and she found the new home. So you see, sometimes when you're praying, 
God will answer the, the prayer in the most exquisite, beautiful way to make you smile, to leave a bit of mystery, but also to give you enough certainty and enough assurance that your prayer has been answered and that the Most High God hears His children. God bless you.